This is a completely inconspicuous, normal looking, regular toolbox, right? Totally wrong. It's a 100% portable, renewable power energy box. Okay, so let's do a complete walkthrough of this power box. Uh, but you'll have to excuse me if my voice sounds a little bit weird today. I've been pretty sick recently. But let's get started. So we have four different modules here on the dashboard. On the left, we have a power patch board. Uh, then this has power in, which can be between 12 volts and 80 volts. And then we have some leads to the battery. And then we have two sets of load pins for your power out. And then we have a set of automotive cigarette lighter plugs. And I really like these because they're modular. And there's all sorts of different accessories that go with these. So I have my USB charging port there. And I have a fast charging port here with USB-C and USB. Uh, and let's light that up. So it takes about one or two seconds for the capacitors to charge, but after that happens, everything turns on and we can switch off or back on to save power. And we've got our voltage reading right there so we can tell that the batteries are still charged. If that drops down to 10 volts, then the batteries will automatically shut themselves off. And then we have our main switchboard here. And here we just have our regular AC power outlet. So you can turn on with that and the inverter comes on on the inside. Now, these were originally going to be movable modules, and each of one of these rows was separate, uh, but the design was a little too flimsy, and so I made it into just one single dashboard like this. Uh, but let's take a look at the inside. There's some power cable stored here. Move this out of the way so you can actually see. Okay, so on the inside we have 1000 watt AC inverter, and that's what's powering the wall outlet there, so you get your AC power. And then we have uh, this little crimp, uh, clamping crimping connector, which I'm using as a power bus, even though it's not what it's for. Okay, and then down at the very bottom, we have a 30 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. And then we have our big old battery controller. So the wiring is a little messy. Um, but I tried the best I could with the limited space, so don't get me too hard in the comments. Uh, but I did try to keep things organized. I tied together related things, like this is for the inverter, and this one goes down to the charge controller, uh, and then I have positive negatives related things kind of taped together here. So it's a little bit organized, but still pretty cramped in there. That just fits back in there diagonal like that. So there's, a couple, uh, so there's a couple other little features I've included here. One thing that I see that is missing from a lot of these kits that I see people doing is they don't have the little tools and information they might need to maintain this. Because this is a portable kit, uh, you might be out running around with this and a wire comes loose or something goes wrong and you need to know how to fix it and you need to have the parts you uh, want for, to do that. Uh, so right here we just have, these are all the manuals for all the big parts. They're just magneted on right there. And we also have these neat little compartments, which is why I like using the toolbox. Uh, it's good for organization. So we have like, we have our banana plug jacks here for the power. We have little wire terminals. And we have different adapters, plugs, screwdriver, different things you might need. So let's go ahead and try powering some stuff with this. So the neat thing that I like about this kit is that you can power almost any device with this. Uh, so let's try a USB device first. I have my old Kindle here. Let's plug that in. And that's charging just fine. Let's try something different. Let's try... Let's see if we can power a ham radio. How about that? Let's 
put that up there. I'm going to plug into the power out. Look at that. Works great. And this is one of the 12 volt outputs, so we can switch it off like that if we want. Switch that back on. Let's try something different. Let's try something bigger. Let's try a power drill. Works pretty good. So that's power out. Let's talk about charging. The nice thing about this charge controller is you can use almost any power in that you want. So as long as you have something that's between 12 and 80 volts, it should work. So you can use a solar panel, you can use so you can use a solar panel, you can use a wind turbine, you can use micro hydro, whatever you've got. But I've just got my solar panel here, and we'll demonstrate this outside later, but I'll just show for now. I'll just show for now. Here's your solar panel connectors, and then just your banana plugs. That all plugs right together. And then these simply just go to power in. And that's another thing I really like about this. I'll turn this off because I'm going to mess with it. Uh, but it's so tactile. There's so many little switches and things. And these banana plugs are really fun. Uh, so it's just fun. It's fun to use. And I like that. So you're done with the power box and it's time to get rid of it. It's totally portable. Before I end the video, I will give you a sneak peek of what the next project is. So if you have a guess as to what that you think this might be, leave a comment. Okay, so you've used your power box and you're done with it, and now you want to put it away wherever else. Whoa.